Hey Flight Simmers, in this video we're going to set up the Octavia IFR-1 with Moby Flight for MSMS 2024, specifically so that we can use various profiles for the G-1000 and more complex aircraft such as the Phoenix A320 family. Doing this will give us full use of the FMS in the Cessna 172. Moby Flight is a free app that bridges the gap between your hardware to your flight simulator, giving you the ability to create custom key bindings to fit your needs. Even if you don't have the Octavi IFR-1, you can still use this tutorial to set up Moby Flight for MSFS 2024. The first thing you want to do is to go to the Octavi website to the instructions and downloads page. Scroll down until you see a Moby Flight. Read the installation instructions and it's quite simple to set up. However, we'll go through these steps for the visual learners. So the first step is download and install Moby Flight if you haven't already. So click on Moby Flight. This will take you over to the Moby Flight project. You click here, download, and then download 10.3. This was released on uh, June 22nd. We will be updating this to the beta, but we'll hold on for that at the moment. Click download, and now it's downloaded in the background. What you wanna do is go to your download folder, wherever you download stuff from the internet, you'll see a mobiflightsetup.exe. Open that and run it. That will get you set up with Moby Flight, just the basic installation. Now we're gonna go back to the Octavi website, back to our Moby Flight little box. The next thing is to download the zip file below. Click on download file. This is going to give you a registry key for the Octavia IFR1. Once you click on download, I've already downloaded and installed this. So again, it's going to show up in your downloads folder, wherever that is on your computer. You're going to double click to execute that Octavia GUID fix reg. And after that's done, then you can start up Moby Flight. What this registry is going to do is that it's going to allow Moby Flight to recognize the Octavi IFR1. And then, really, before going into Moby Flight, you can download and extract a profile from the list below. So, we're going to go down here. There's the uh, G1000. And don't worry if this is 2020. This is actually still good in 2024. I tested it myself. So this is for General Aviation G1000. You can download that one. And you can also download the uh, GNS 530-430. And then if you have any of the, the Phoenix A320 or the Fly-By-Wire A32NX or any of the PMDG 737-777-DC6, although those currently aren't available in 2020 or at least not a compatible version but down the road once there's a compatible version you should be able to just download this so when you download it again it goes into your downloads folder wherever it is on your pc then move it to a place that you know maybe even create a folder for just moby flight profiles and put it in there and then what you're going to do is we're now gonna go into Moby Flight. So when you open up Moby Flight, it's called the Moby Flight Connector. Currently, MSFS 2024 support is in beta. So to access the beta, go to Extras, Settings, and then here, you're gonna click on a check mark. Yes, I would like to receive beta version updates. So click on that, press OK, close down Moby Flight. Then restart it. Now you're gonna go to file and then open because you could create a brand new profile, but we're not looking to do that. We're actually looking to import a profile from the Octavi website. And you don't have to get all your profiles from the Octavi website. You can get them anywhere. And that goes the same thing with any other hardware that you're trying to use Moby Flight with. So we're gonna go on open, and then we're gonna go find our MCC 
that's our our profile for Moby Flight. So this is for the C-172, the G-1000. Click on open, and this is your output config, but we're actually looking for input config. So click on input, and then that is the profile. So right now I'm not in the sim, so it does not uh, detect an aircraft and the sim status, uh, sim's not running, sim connect is not running. What we have to do now is get into the sim. And before you run the profile, you'll want to click on help, check for update, just to make sure that you're on the current beta or the latest full version. So in this case, I'm on 10.4.0.1, and this is in beta, and there's no update uh, necessary. All right, so we're now in the cockpit of the 172 here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Up here in the Moby flight, you can see the sim status. We got a check mark for MSFS detected and WASM module is detected also. The, uh, the C-172 SP, that is also detected. So we've got our input config and now we can click on run. Once we click on run, then that will allow us to use the Octavia IFR-1 within the cockpit with the profile running you can click on fms1 on your octavia ifr1 then click on menu that pops up the uh, pfd setup menu but on the bottom if you now go to let's say apr which in blue is the fpl which is your flight plane click on that and then you can now use the uh, the knob to move around the bottom's going to move you to the next uh, next part but then the top rotary knob you're going to be able to make adjustments so we can put in uh we're in canada so we're going to go c move one so we use the bottom knob to move over then we can go uh let's go c y y as if we're going to Toronto. We're not going to make it in a, in a Cessna 172 unless we uh, fuel up. But uh, CYYZ or Z, depending on how you want to pronounce it. There we go. So Pearson. Then we can press ENT, accept, and then set the runway. Oh, and by the way, I just realized what, what I did there. I actually put the departure as Toronto this should be the arrival let's just go back clear press just press clear backs you out our origin we're gonna have to change this yeah so press clear it'll remove the cyyz press okay so press enter now we're gonna go back here we're gonna put charlie yankee hotel and zulu ent and then let's put a uh, runway it should be two three ent ent then you can put in all your waypoints if you want destination all right toronto so ent ENT and already your GPS is already giving you a new track and now we can press uh, uh, enter actually we don't even have to press enter just press the uh, FPL or APR button on the bottom press that again it'll close it up if you want to move over to your uh, CDI change the CDI from GPS to low you can press the uh, CDI AP, that works. Now, if you remember, we started this manually by clicking run. You can manually click stop, but while it's running, if you click on auto run, the light bulb will go from gray to yellow. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna activate the last loaded config will be automatically launched the next time that you launch uh, Moby Flight. If you're always using the Octavia IFR-1 with the G-1000, 
then do this and then it will automatically start it up as soon as you start up Moby Flight. For something that will change based off of the aircraft that you're in and change profiles, that's a little more complex, more advanced. If you want to see that in an upcoming video, I personally haven't done it yet myself, but if you want to see that video, let me know in the comments below and uh, I can try to get that out in a uh, future video. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. But that's pretty much it to it. It's, it's very easy. As soon as you start reading the instructions, you just follow them and it, it's easy. I find people get frustrated and confused when they see all these actions within Moby Flight. But you don't have to worry about that. Just download a profile, whether it's from the Octavia IFR website or it's from a form anywhere. And then you just go in, file open, and then you run the, the profile. That's that's it. Uh, it is quite simple, but you can make it more complex by creating your very own profile or by having several different profiles for various aircraft and having it automatically set up. But again, if you want to see that in another video, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll uh, try to assist you there. But thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in this next video.